Hello guys, this is Santosh and welcome to Tech Design. So in this video, I'm going to take this sheet metal exercise. So this is the 13th model that I'm going to do. And we also have a drawing for this. You can see here, this is the drawing and all the dimensions are in mm and whatever the sheet metal thickness is uh, 3 mm here. And we need to consider the bend radius and all the edge planes as a 3 mm. Okay. So now you can see here, this is going to be our isometric view and uh, these are the front view and side view. So without wasting our time, so let's get started doing this in sheet metal workbench. So now I'll just go to new file here. And in the new file window, I'm going to select a sheet metal. Okay. And I'll just click OK. So this is our, uh, you know, sheet metal uh, workbench. You can see all the sheet metal commands are over here. And now you can so see here, I'm going to make this 50 mm and 70 mm a base and then I'm going to create uh, one profile on one side and then I'm going to make it as a mirror on other side. So that is how I'm going to work. So now we can see the base you can see here 50 mm and 70 mm. So I'm going to create a sketch here on this plane and uh, let me go to rectangle. Okay, so now I'll just go to center point rectangle. rectangle. So this is the rectangle. So this dimension is going to be 70 mm. Okay. And whatever this dimension is going to be 50 mm. Okay. So I'll just finish the sketch. And now we have this is a sketch and I will give a tab for this. So I'll just go to tab. And here the thickness will be 3 mm and I'm going to select this sketch. I'll just click OK. Okay, so now uh, you can see in the drawing. So whatever this flange we have, so this flange I'm going to create. So it is exactly at 90 degree and it is bending towards downwards. So we are going to create it and length for that is going to be, uh, you can see here, it is 40 mm. Okay, so we are going to do it now. So now let me go to a flange here and here I'm going to create it with the length of 40. So it is 40 with a you know radius of 3 mm. So it is going to be 43 mm. Okay, so let us give 43 mm and you can just click apply. Okay. So now you can see here um, we have this extension. So 60 mm it is extended and 40 mm is the length. So we are going to create that. So for this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to sketch and moment on this plane. Okay. And here I'm going to draw a rectangle. So this time it is going to two point rectangle. Okay. So yeah. So this side it is going to be 60 mm. And this side it is going to be 40 mm. Okay. So now I'll just finish the sketch. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a secondary flange for this particular sketch. So I'll just go to tab and I'm going to create a secondary tab and this is going to be my secondary tab and I'll just click OK. And now you can see here there is a one more flange here. So this flange I'm going to create and whatever the distance here from this edge it is 7 mm and from this edge it is 95 mm and the length is going to be 34 mm. So I'm going to do it now. So we can go to flange and here I'm going to select this edge. And uh, here I don't want a full length. So I will give this from both ends. Okay. Now from this edge, it will be 7 mm. Okay. And from this edge, it will be 95. Okay. You can see here 7 mm and 95 mm and the length is going to be 34. Okay. So I'm going to give it as a 34. Okay, so that's all I'm going to keep everything same and I'll just click. Okay. So once this is done, you can see here there is a one more 13 mm of a flange, uh, which is the bending towards top. So I'll just go to flange. And this time I'm going to give length as full and the length is going to be 13 mm okay so now you can just click okay 
So once this is done, I'm going to make a mirror of this. So this complete mirror, I'm going to do it on the other side. So how we are going to do, we can go to application and modeling application. Okay, you can just click okay for this. And here I'm going to select a mirror feature. So I'm going to mirror this flange, this sketch, tab, these two flanges. Okay, so plane will be this. And you can just click okay. So once this is done, you can see here our flange has been created on the both sides. Okay. And now we are left with only few, you know, um, edge blends and then these cutouts, whatever the cutouts we have. So I'm going to create these holes now from the top view. So what I'm going to do is I'm just go to sketch environment on this plane. And here I'm going to draw a circles. Okay. So these are the four circles and this center and this center is going to be vertically aligned okay and now i'm going to make this center this center horizontally aligned okay and uh, this radius this radius is going to be equal so make it equal this radius this radius is going to be equal okay so now let me give the radius for this so this is going to be 12 diameter just click OK and this is going to be 12 now and whatever uh, this diameter it is going to be 10 mm okay so now let me move this and keep it here so now we need to make it as a exactly at the center so I'm going to select this center and from this point there will be a distance of 20 pi mm okay and now uh, whatever the distance from this edge to this it is going to be 12 mm and whatever this distance from here to here so from this center to this center it is going to be 45 and now you can see in the drawing so whatever this dimension we have here it is going to be at the center so we can so now let me give the dimension here from this center point to this edge it is going to be 14 mm okay and whatever from this center to this edge it is going to be 21.5 okay so similarly whatever the same distance i'm going to give it for this circle okay So now these two, uh, now all the sketches are defined completely constrained. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish the sketch. So once this is done, I'm going to make a normal cutout for this. So for that, I'll just go to application and sheet metal. And here I'm going to select a normal cut. Okay. I'll just select this sketch. I'll just click OK. So once this is done, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a profile here. So you can see here this profile I'm going to create. So let me go to sketch again and on this plane and I'll just click OK and here I'm going to draw two rectangles. Okay. So these two rectangles I'm going to draw. Or else we can just define this. So what is the 6.5 mm? Okay. And whatever the length we have is 25 mm. Okay. And I'm going to make a pattern for this. So go to pattern and it should be circular pattern. So I'm going to select this profile. So my center point will be midpoint. Okay, so I'm going to select a midpoint here between two points. So between this point and this point. Okay. And it is going to rotate two counts and pitch angle will be 90. And you can just click OK. Okay. So now uh, we need to provide a edge blend here. So go to fillet and this is going to be 3 mm. Select all the edges here. Okay. So whatever the dimension for this is uh, given in the drawing. So you can just view the distance along x axis and y direction and you can just make it as a completely constraint. So now I'm just going to finish and here i'm going to select a normal cutout again and in this case we are going to select this sketch so now you can see here this is our result and now i'm just going to click okay 
so now we are left with only few uh, edge blends so we are going to go to break corner here and select 3 mm and we are going to provide a 3 mm everywhere okay and here also it will be 3 mm Okay, so now all the edge blends are given. So I'll just click OK. And now you can see here only we are left with one circle here. So before going to give the circle, I'm going to give the edge blend here. So go to right corner and here I'm going to select this edge, this edge, this edge, as well as this edge. So I'm going to give it as a 5 mm, sorry, 8 mm, and you can just click OK. So now we need to give a hole here. So we'll just go to sketch and I'm going to select this sketch. And here I'm going to select this center. And the dimension for this will be 10 mm. Okay, so I'll just finish this. And now we are going to go to normal cutout and we'll remove the material. So now you can see here, I'll just hit Ctrl W and hide everything show only solid properties okay so this is our model guys so whatever the dimensions that are on so we have used the dimension and we have created this model suppose if you have any doubts please comment in the section below i will try to answer thank you guys